hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lizzie today i'm going to show you all how i was able to achieve this birthday glam on my client if this is your first time of watching me please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like share and comment in the comment section thank you guys so much so i'm going to use this brushes from flawless ivy it's actually a nigerian brand and i'm going to pick up the brow brush and i'm quickly going to draw a thin line underneath her brow using my carite eyeliner i actually do use this for brows so it comes in a brown and black container so i'm just quickly going to pick up the brown shade and draw a thin line underneath the brow and another thin line above the brow to meet with the one underneath thereafter i'm going to pick up my davis brow pencil and just fill up the areas where she does not really have enough hairs you want to make sure that your strokes are as light as possible so that it looks natural and subtle just because you want a more defined shape you want the brush to be as flat as possible and i'm going to pick up this concealer from zaron cosmetics and i'm going to go in with three shades lighter than that of our skin tone just to highlight underneath the arc and then i'm going to go in with cheek foundation the one in her tone in her skin tone and i'm just going to conceal the inner corner of her brow and then blend everything together i'm quickly going to go over to the top of the brow also using the same shade which is the foundation in her skin tone and i'm going to conceal the top of the brow you need to be extra careful so that you do not end up cleaning up the lines that you've drawn the shape that you've gotten from the brow you don't end up cleaning it up so at this point i'm quickly going to go in with a blending brush i actually use this for my shadows or for concealing and i'm going to apply the concealer from zaron cosmetics first at the top of our lid and after that i'm going to go in with benyen eye primer at the top of the lid so once you're done applying your primer make sure you blend that properly so that it comes out really nice moving on i'm going to pick this shadow brush from flawless ivy cosmetics again and i'm going to blend orange at the transition area the way you can see me do i'm just going to blend that orange yellowish shade at the transition area like this and towards the inner corner of her eyes just the same way you can see me do in the video so i'm going to pick up this peach shade um this is actually an old eyeshadow palette that i have right here with me so the name is not written on it but whatever shade that is close to what i'm using right now you can easily pick it up and use it so go in with your peach shade and then blend that properly right now i'm going to go in with a silver shade of shadow and this silver shade is from dominic eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to apply that on the crease area and i'm just going to blend that properly so i'll make sure that i do the same thing on the left hand side of our face and then on the other side of our face and then towards the outer corner i used a pink shade just so that everything looks properly blended she kept on telling me that she needed it to be nude and as calm as possible so for her waterline area i went in with a black shade of shadow and then my eyeliner in a black shade and it is from carite cosmetics it's an eyeliner from carite so at this point we have excess eyeshadow that have already fallen on her face so i'm just going to use a face wipe with my micellar water to wipe that off from her skin so that you have a very clean and a nice job you want to make sure that everything is properly done right now i'm going to go in with this face primer from flawless ivy and i'm just going to apply that generously on her face like this you want to make sure that you blend that rub that into her skin properly so that the makeup can last for a long time although this is a photo shoot but you still want it to stay as long as possible at this point i'm going to go in with green tea setting spray just to set that um primer and everything that i have applied into her skin properly this is going to enable the makeup to last long so right now i'm going to pick up this foundation from cheek cosmetics and i'm just going to apply that generously all over her face the way you can see me do but just as light as possible you don't want the foundation application to be too thick 
on the face you want it to be as light as possible so i'll be dropping the shade in the description box just in case you want to get it but trust me this particular product is dope like their yeah, cheek cosmetics i've really been enjoying it cheek and zico which are nigerian brands i've been enjoying them with also flawless ivy yeah these are very beautiful and beautiful and very very nice brands that you should get as well nigerian brands so at this point i'm going to go in for her contour area with um Zikel foundation in the shade 025 and you can see that it's a little bit lighter than her skin tone so i'm just going to contour the forehead and the cheekbone and then underneath her jaw so that everything blends properly you can see how lightly i'm applying that onto her skin i'm not dragging but i'm just tapping the product into her skin so for her eye like today i'm going to go in with v beauty concealer i'm just going to conceal underneath her eyes and basically her t-zone areas which is her forehead her jaw then the nose and then underneath her eyes you want to make sure that you blend properly and do not drag so that the whole makeup can come out neat and very very clean you see that in this video we are not doing too much at all so right now i'm going to go in with this zico concealer i just wanted to make the look as subtle as possible so i went in with a shade darker than two times darker than her skin tone so i'm just going to blend that into her skin properly so that the whole makeup look can be calm and subtle because that's what we are looking for in this particular video so at this point i'm going to contour using zico foundation the same foundation that i used for her cheekbone and then for the forehead yes yeah, so i'm using 025 zico foundation and i'm just going to blend that properly i uh, what i did was to chisel the nose a little bit just to give me a pointed look and then i blended it properly so right now i'm going to pick up this flawless ivy powder palette that i have with me and i'm going to go in using the same process in the areas where you have darker shades go in with darker shade of um, of powder yeah go in with darker shades of powder in the area where you have light shades go in with light shades do not also forget her neck as well because you don't want it to be dark you just want everything to blend properly with her chest and basically um the general color she has all over her body so do not forget to apply that powder on her neck yeah so i'm going to go in in the areas where you have light shades of foundation where we used light shade like her t-zone area go in with light shade of powder in the area where we used dark shades of foundation and concealer go in with dark shades of powder and you don't want to go in too dark or too yeah too dark you just want to go in using the shades that you already used as foundation basically yeah so i'm going to apply this powder this white shade of powder on her t-zone area just to highlight the face properly it's been so 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 long i used setting powder like i just feel like it's not all looks you can use setting powder i had um one of my i had a comment on one of my posts last week that asking me why i don't use setting powder i just feel it does the same work with normal the normal powder we have i've been using the normal powder we usually have in our 12 in 1 powder palette and all of that i just change the shades that's what i usually do i change the shades and it usually gives me something nice still almost as good as when you use setting powder but do whatever works for you this is what works for me it's been such a very long time that i used setting powder and the makeup still comes out really nice and beautiful so you could get yours it's not like i'm going to stop using setting powder entirely i'm just saying that it's not all look all looks i mean to say and all the looks that i've been doing 
of recent i have never for once for once used setting powder and it still works for me so whatever works for you darling yeah so right now what i did was to highlight her lips using um this gold shade of eyeshadow just at the top of her lip so right now i'm going to pick up my Ezekiel red lippy i so much love the shade of this lip it's beautiful is giving everything pepe there you know everything ataro do pepe everything yeah it was just giving me everything that i wanted it was just vibes upon vibes you know what i'm saying just look at how beautiful and popping that is it's mad yes yeah, so i'm going to drop the shade in the description box yeah so that just in case you want something like this you could actually just quickly order for it yeah but i actually do really really love the shade so i'm going to go in with a gold gold shade of shadow just underneath her brow yes the place that we initially highlighted and towards her cheekbone do not come downwards like don't bring that highlighter down 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 to her cheeks very much just um where where you have that contour basically yes just at the top of it just top somewhere right there and that's it so i'm going to highlight her nose and the middle of her nose at this point she has she was just looking at the mirror and she really 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 loved the makeup and i was excited you know when you're making a client up and they are frowning you know yourself you, you'll be like god what what but this one she really loved it at this point she was already seeing the outcome and she loved it a lot so what I did next was to use a silver shade of shadow at the inner corner of her waterline. And then it just made the whole makeup pop. So right now I'm going to go in with um, this mascara from Kiss Beauty. And I'm just going to apply that on her natural lashes and then the one underneath. Because you want the eye makeup to pop. This is what the makeup looks like in a close-up view yeah that's what it looks like so right now i'm going to go in with falsies and i'll be dropping the brand of these falsies in the description box i really really love it i love the fact that it's coily it's not just standing like one umbrella like ugh. it's coily and very very beautiful you can see how it really brought out the makeup so i'm going to go in with this green tea setting spray just to keep the whole makeup intact matte and nice until she's done with her photo shoot thank you guys so much for watching i do hope that this video has been helpful if it has please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like share and also comment in the comment section thank you all for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye